If you want to know the best romance movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2020. Since the day we've met, you've talked about how you think marriage is fucking lame. I didn't say lame, I said problematic. Right, two people declaring their eternal love for each other. How problematic! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. To all the boys, P.S. I still love you. 2020. It's actually a, a two-fork restaurant. They give you the second one just in case you knock the first one off the table. No, that's that. That's not it. To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You is a 2020 teen romantic comedy film directed by Michael Fimognari and stars Lana Condor, Noah Centineo, Jordan Fisher, and Anna Cathcart. Following the surprise hit that was the 2018 original, To All the Boys 2 continues the hilarious journey of Laura Jean, who once accidentally sent all her love letters from her childhood to her crushes. Now continuing her relationship with charismatic Peter, a love triangle appears where she meets one of her former crushes by incident. This is my first date. I've never been a girlfriend before. I hope I'm good at it. Number 9 Sergio, 2020 What? You're alone. No bodyguard today. Oh. Sergio is a 2020 biographical drama film directed by Greg Barker and stars Wagner Mora and Ana de Armas. Crafting a suspenseful drama with the ingredients of a horrifying real-life event, Sergio is the story of a United Nations diplomat living in Iraq. When a bomb blasting haunts his home, the walls begin to crash down one by one. Now finding his life crumbling, Sergio must overcome his pain to be stronger than ever before. I'm sure when he notices I'm missing him, He'll come running. Are you missing? Maybe. I'm Sergio. Sergio, Sergio de Mello. Yeah. Well, you're not allowed to go missing. Number eight. The Lovebirds, 2020. What is that? What? That face. Is that your I wanna kiss you face? The Lovebirds is a 2020 romantic comedy film directed by Michael Showalter and stars Kumail Nanjiani and Issa Rae. Once again, rethinking the classic romance trip as something more adventurous and daring, The Lovebirds follows Gibran and Leilani, a struggling couple living their so-called ordinary life. But when accused of a murder they didn't commit, they must go to find out what happened, who's behind the mystery, and ultimately find a way to clear their names. Hi, nice to meet you. We're fighting. No, we're not. We're rehearsing a play. It's a fight scene. How's this? It's fun. It's fun? What do I look like? Chuck E. Cheese? But sexy. You're like Fuck E. Cheese. Number 7. Chemical Hearts, 2020. You look, um... Thotty? Oh, I was gonna say hot. Chemical Hearts is a 2020 romantic drama film, written and directed by Richard Tan, and stars Austin Abrams and Lily Reinhardt. While not reinventing the genre of melodramatic teenage love, Chemical Hearts is refreshing through smart commenting on the trope while delivering on strong emotions and suspenseful writing. It is the gripping story of a struggling high school senior who falls deeply in love with a transfer student that borrows a dark secret. Well, it's my costume from last year. You doing okay? Yeah, in this moment, I'm... I'm okay. I think you're the most confusing human being I've ever met. <laughs> Number 6. Issy and Aussie, 2020. Tut mir leid. Ich bin total durcheinander, weil du so, so schön bist. Issy and Aussie is a 2020 German romantic comedy film written and directed by Oliver Kindly and stars Dennis Mojan and Lisa Vicari. Reimagining the universal trope of class war in movies, Issy and Aussie takes the premise and puts it into a comedic romance, combining love and tragedy with pride and prejudice. When a billionaire's daughter rebels against her strict parents in pretending to be in a relationship with a struggling boy from the working class, there might be more to the acting than planned. Okay. Then, um, can you speak, please? Really asozial. Asozial. 
Küsse. Ja. Asozial halt. Asozial halt einfach. Ich kann nur gut küssen, tut mir leid. Number 5. All the Bright Places 2020. You will write about them. Explain their significance to you and to Indiana and why you chose to visit them. All the Bright Places is a 2020 teen romantic drama film directed by Brett Haley and stars Elle Fanning, Justice Smith, and Kelly O'Hara. Combining heartbreaking tragedy with the beauty of exploration, youth, and the will to live, All the Bright Places is the romance of two young adults who both face the fear of losing track in life. But when their destinies cross fade, they might get another chance to find out what they really want from themselves on one memorable road trip. Be thoughtful. <laughs> Okay. What just happened? That was so weird. <laughs> All right, settle, settle. Violet, are you okay? All right, let's take our seats. Number four. I still believe 2020. It's a date. What? No. It's not, it's not, a, not a date. Really? Because you literally just asked me out just right over here. I Still Believe is a 2020 romantic drama film directed by the Irwin Brothers and stars K.J. Appa, Britt Robertson, Shania Twain, and Gary Sinise. This gripping adaptation of a real-life tragedy yet romance captures the extraordinary life of Christian music star Jeremy Camp. Following the icon on missteps that defined his later work, we witness how love affected him and how loss defined his later career, making a beautiful experience for fans of romance and biopics alike. I thought about it all night, actually. And okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. One date. Number three. Emma, 2020. I must tell you. Emma, what you will not ask, though I may wish it unsaid the next moment. Then do not speak it. Emma is a 2020 period comedy film directed by Autumn DeWilde and stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Johnny Flynn, Josh O'Connor, and Callum Turner. Continuing the row of strong Jane Austen adaptations, Emma hits a refreshing note with sharp sarcasm, brilliant directing, and dark humor. We follow wealthy and smart Emma Woodhouse, who navigates her way through profound missteps in her love life, resulting in the most absurd situations. But while going from mismatch to mismatch, she may find out that love has always been by her side. My dearest Emma, the dearest you will always be, my dearest, most beloved Emma, tell me at once. I cannot make speeches. If I, if I, if I loved you less, then I might be able to talk about it more. Number two. The half of it, 2020. I'm only two. Yes, I know. We've only been playing my dad's services every Sunday for like four years. The Half of It is a 2020 coming-of-age comedy drama film, written and directed by Alice Wu, and stars Leah Lewis, Daniel Dimer, and Alexis Lehmeyer. This deep and incredibly entertaining coming-of-age story has absolutely everything for fans of teenage drama who seek an uncommonly smart and tender exploration of youth. We follow an introverted student who, despite being shy, helps the school jock get a girl whom they both secretly want, resulting in a part hilarious, part refreshing way to build the typical love triangle in a satisfying way. Remains of the day. Loved it. All that barely repressed longing. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. So great to see you. <laughs> you smell so good. What is that? Is that soap? Sorry, I'm a little sweaty. I had a whole TSA pat down. Guess I'm too sexy. <laughs> it's not the pose melting this tension away. It's the fucking heat. Shh. Is there any air conditioning? Hot yoga. Lift and slowly press that into your downward facing dog. Did anyone ever tell you, you have the most amazing bump? How else would I be able to do all my college interviews? Wait, you're applying to schools here? I already sent out applications to Boston University, Tufts, Boston College. And Harvard? Yes, and Harvard. No, brilliant! No. Number one, Palm Springs, 2020. Cheers. To pretending not to care. 
I like that. I know you do. Palm Springs is a 2020 romantic comedy film directed by Max Barbacow and stars Andy Samberg, Kristen Milioti, Peter Gallagher, and J.K. Simmons. While joining the good old Groundhog Day trope of throwing characters into an everlasting nightmare that just keeps on repeating itself, Palm Springs remains fresh by adding new elements to the premise with coherent storytelling and charismatic characters. When two wedding guests are forced to repeat one specific day, they may get the chance to become better people. Well, if you feel sorry for me, then that must mean that you care about me, Niles. It what? <laughs> No. It would, what? No, but when I say that I feel sorry, it's like, it's the same way that I would say that I feel sorry that, you know, I finished one beer and now I have to open a new one. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.